How long do you think the U.S. crude rebounds will last? Well, we haven't seen too much of a rebound. It's only been uh, really a day or two. So the decline has been very extreme, really the most extreme we've seen in almost 20 years in that period of time. Um, so the trend is still very much negative. Uh, even if we were to bounce a little bit, um, it's going to take a lot before the trend can improve enough to think that we could get a meaningful bounce uh, that would be more than just you know a few dollars higher. So you know we could get up to 58, 59, but really to get up above uh, 61, that's going to take quite a bit of uh, change, I think, in the supply demand or you know some some evidence that uh, you know we're going to see real cuts and, and that demand is going to come back. And I just I don't know. I think we're very close, but it's tough for me to make that call, just given how uh, how bearish the trend has been lately. Do you think gold will continue to hold the key 1200 level? I still see the dollar rising a bit more, so that should be bearish for gold into December. Um, gold would need to get up above 1240 for me to be optimistic that we can start to move higher. Until then, I think... Um, in the near term, I'm, a, I'm still a little skeptical, and a lot of that has to do with just interest rates and, and the dollar moving up. Uh, I think gold will have a chance to, uh, to turn up potentially next year. I still see the dollar right now rising, and so that really needs to end. And right now, that's, that's bearish for commodities in general, I think. Uh, crude oil has caused a bit of a drag in commodities, but uh, the precious metals have been under pressure and there's just no everybody's looking for a bottom in gold and the only reason gold is rallying in my view is because it's uh, more of a safe haven at a time when treasuries are not working uh, and the stock market's not working so it's really an alternative type commodity that people think is uh, very oversold and sentiment's very negative and it's a it's a hard asset and it's it's worth diversifying into so I, I don't disagree with that I just think that Specifically in the short run, um, I can't really be bullish on gold until we get over 1240.